Hey, what is up guys? It's Limited Llama back for another update on my so rare MLB competitions. Today I'm going to be giving an update on how my tournaments are going, and then also I'm going to be signing up for next week's uh, tournaments. So, so far this week has actually been going pretty well. Limited All-Star is the one that I'm mainly focusing on. That's where all my best players are at, and I'm 195th so far. Most of the games are wrapping up today, except one, uh, the Yankee game is tonight at 7 p.m., so I think I'm definitely going to place in the top 500, or in the top 600, I mean. You have to be in the top 600 to get a prize here. I'm aiming to be in the top 300, because then I'll get a Tier 3 limited card. Currently, most of my uh, Guardians are done playing, so they both racked me up almost 100 points in total, which is crazy. Jose Abreu... Uh, Jack Peterson, Munoz, uh, those three still have a chance to get me some more points, but both of these are starting starting pitchers, so they won't give me any more points. But I think Munoz is probably going to pitch today, and he should probably get me another 10-ish points. Uh, so then if Jack Peterson and Jose Abreu both hit a couple home runs or something like that, I could potentially get in the top 100, which would then get me a Tier 2 limited card. Um, so... I'm going to guess that I'm going to land somewhere around here, 101 to 300, but if I get really lucky, I might end up in the top 100, which would get me a tier 2 card, which would be really awesome. I would be really happy with that. But again, this is my first time even placing with one of these competitions, so I'm just happy to get a prize at all. Um, I know, yeah, you can click here. So these are the, the tier 3 players that I might, I, I'm getting one of these players essentially, so... Some decent names in here. I saw Andres Jimenez, some other players, but uh, let's look at Tier 2 as well. Tier 2 is a little bit better than Tier 3. We got Ahmed Rosario. So, uh, obviously, Tier 1 is where all of the the name stakes lie, right? Aaron Judge, I'm sure. Um, Francisco Lindor, Jose Ramirez. You got Shohei Otani in here, so somewhere, yeah. So, all of your really solid players are in Tier 1, but... A tier three reward I'm definitely not going to be complaining about. So I'll be opening that up uh, in tomorrow's video. So keep an eye out for that. Let me go back over to the live competitions. So as we can see, my common all-star, again, these are just so that people get XP. Not doing super, super well. Uh, it's bottom hundredth. Uh, and then the limited pro, again, this is also just so that these players will get XP. Um, look at... William Contreras actually got me some points. Previously, I was almost dead last in this competition, but now I'm not dead last, which is good. So both of these competitions are just for XP. This one is the one that I'm really trying to win uh, some prizes in. So let's go ahead and let's sign up for next week. Let's go over to upcoming. And then again, I'm going to be focusing on limited all-star until my team is pretty solid because you have to be in the top 250 in limited pro to get a prize. Um, and I mean, you can even see this week my team did really well, and we we might land in the top 250, but the odds are likely we we could fall out out of that as well. So, gonna stay safe and just go with the uh, limit all star where you have to be in the top 600. So let's go ahead and register. This is what I was thinking. Zach Gallen pitched yesterday, which is Saturday, and this competition runs until Thursday. So he's going to be able to pitch again on Thursday because that'll be a five-day rest. So we'll go ahead and have him pitching because he has been an absolute stud. With regard to relief pitchers, probably going to have uh, Andres Munoz pitch again. He's my best relief pitcher. Uh, corner infielder, going to stick with Jose Ramirez again. He's got doubleheader tomorrow and then a game Tuesday and Wednesday. Middle infielder, again, I think I'm going to go with Ahmed Rosario here, specifically because William Contreras is a catcher, which means he probably is only going to play two or three games out of those four, whereas the odds are high that Ahmed Rosario is going to play all four. So I'll prefer him to be in here. Then I'm going to start Jack Peterson again. I think, yeah, four games for both Jack Peterson and Austin Slater. So I'll go ahead and, and go with Jack Peterson. Now I get an extra player, and I think I'm going to go go with Jose Abreu. That's uh, probably the most obvious selection here. And then the flex, I'm going to go with another pitcher. I think Johnny Cueto is probably the best option. Although let's go over to MLB.com and see exactly who the White Sox are facing. Because if the Nationals are facing a bad team, then I could, with, could go with Josiah Gray instead. But let's look at uh, this upcoming week. 
head on over here. Let's go to uh, schedule. So we're looking for um, Monday. I'm looking for the White Sox. Uh, let's see, White Sox, White Sox, White Sox. Where are we at? So they're playing the Astros. Oh, geez. Okay, we do not want Johnny Cueto. Uh, the Astros are crazy good. They're going to get lit up. And then let's look at the Nationals. They're facing the Cubs. Great. So Josiah Gray, obvious choice there. Johnny Cueto might get lit up by the Astros. And the Cubs are really bad. So Josiah Gray might have a full game, perfect game. You know, who knows? I could also go with uh, a non um, silver player, but I think Josiah Gray is probably the better option here. Essentially, uh, being the silver player, I think it, it gives them an extra bonus, or at least it allows you to play them in this competition. So we'll go ahead and submit that team. And then I'm also going to, again, go ahead and register a common all-star team, which actually might be able to do well this team since I'll have two pitchers in it that will actually be pitching. Um, we'll go ahead and go with Alexis Diaz again. Matt Chapman has actually been doing pretty well um, over at third. We'll go with Travis Darno, um, Joe Adele, sure. Luke Voigt did not do well this week, but hopefully he does well this upcoming week. And then I guess we'll just go with another starting pitcher, I think would be the most logical thing. Because he's averaging 15 points and he's going to be pitching, so that'll be, uh, on average, I'll get 15 points. Michael Chavez is averaging 5 points, but he has 3 games, so on average I would get 15 points from him. I think the, the right choice here is to go with Jeffrey Springs as a starting pitcher. And then I'm also going to register one more limited pro team. Um, go ahead and put Johnny Cueto in there. Uh, let's get Jason Adam. Sure, William Contreras. We'll go ahead and put Michael Chavez in. Uh, Austin Slater. Um, let's go ahead. I guess we'll put Harold Ramirez, even though he's still on the injured list. And then... Um, let's put Jesus Lazardo. So that's registered. And then I don't think I have enough players to field a training team. Now I need another corner infielder to go ahead and do that. So I have my three teams ready to go. You can see them here. Zach Gallen, Munoz, Ramirez, Rosario, Peterson, Abreu, and Gray. Lineup looks pretty good. Hopefully Gallen can continue his hot streak. He's gotten me almost 40 points in the last couple of competitions he's played in. So feel good about him. Hopefully Gray can shut down the Cubs and get me a lot of points as well. And then if the Guardians stay streaking, I can rack up a lot of points there as well. So again, uh, I'll post a video tomorrow uh, opening up both of my packs because I'll you always get a reward from the, um, from the common all-star competition. So I'll be getting a solid tier five reward. So probably some no-name baseball player, but I'll be getting an, a reward there, and then I'll also get a reward from this limited all-star. So hopefully somebody solid there that I can add to my roster. And if that's the case, then I might actually swap them in. Um, so I'll, I'll try to record this over lunch, which means uh, I'll have an, an early recording time, but if I swap anybody in, I'll have to do that before the first game starts, which I know the Guardians started too, so I'll have to do it before then. So that is all. Thanks for watching. See you later.